Hey, Andrew from SciChart here. Uh, today I'm going to show you a financial charting component that we have built within SciChart in, uh, in mobile applications. In particular, this is the iOS version. And we've done this in order to demonstrate the capability of SciChart to make mobile trading applications. But also we are packaging a uh, financial charting component which will let you add and remove technical indicators, have uh, user interactions, cursors, active legends, and more. So this is a view to our demo app, which is called SciTrader. We're going to be putting this live on the Apple, uh, on the App Store, as well as the Google Play Store. Um, and we're connecting to Binance because you have free data from cryptocurrency exchanges. Um, and uh, with that, we're able to sort of build this live trading app. So here we go. Here's the application. This is looking at uh, Bitcoin US dollar. And um, it's a live ticking chart. As you can see on the right, the price is updating in this label. Uh, on the right and I can change the time frame here um, for instance if I change to uh, one minute time frame and zoom right in you should be able to see some movement here um, I can also zoom and pan this chart so I'm I'm currently uh, using the scroll on the right axis or I can place my finger anywhere and pan or I can also use pinch zoom if I have two fingers together so this is an interactive uh, price chart and if I go back to another time frame I'm going to look at the one hour and zoom right out there um, you can see that this is a sort of a highly interactive um, sort of component that lets you browse around now we have this cursor as well so if I tap the cursor button in the top right here uh, when I move my finger over the chart you can see the X label showing the date and time the Y label showing the price but also in the top of the screen you can see OHLC that's the open high low close price uh, at the cursor and you can see the volume as well um, and this gets a bit more interesting if I add indicators so if I press FX in the top right you can see all the indicators that we support so I'm gonna click on Bollinger Bands and I'm also gonna click on um, let's choose something like the MACD MACD so there we go so I mean we've now got uh, the price chart and we've also got um, Bollinger Band indicator and we've also got MACD. Now if I re-enable the cursor and I move it over the chart you can see that we have a legend and it's now showing the indicator values as well as the price. And this is an active legend it's using our chart modifier API uh, and we've just customized it a little bit in order to display in this way which is the sort of thing that people would expect in a trading application. Now you can also change the settings on this chart so let's say that I hit the settings button in the top right and I want to change some of these colors so I can click on MACD uh, I can change the inputs slow fast and signal line if I want uh, or I can change the colors so let's say actually I would prefer this one to be yellow and let's go back and you can see that this difference now reflected in the chart um, similarly the Bollinger if I click on settings and I go to B bands um, and if I wanted to change uh, some of the colors here so I'm gonna say actually I want this to be a nice purple color which would be a bit odd but you know just for the purpose of, of this example you can see that I've, I've put a, a purple color in there probably look better if I have a bit of opacity so maybe let's set that to 35% and there we go now we can see the price again now there's also a maximize built into this so if I click this maximize button on the top right I can expand the main price chart if I want to see a little bit more detail or maybe I want to do that for the lower one or maybe I want to remove an indicator in which case I can go into the settings and I can swipe and click delete and then go back and you can see our uh, updated price chart like this now I can also change the instrument so let's say I wanted to look at ETH USD instead I'm going to have a look at that um, so here we go we're looking at Ethereum um, time frame which I've already pointed out cursors uh, indicators and so on in terms of indicators we actually have um, we've got about 20 built in uh, it's possible to add more uh, what we've done is we've built a framework which means that you're piping data into here from the exchange whatever your data source is we're, we're using Binance as a data source uh, and we're piping data in and it's ticking and updating but as it does all of the indicators are recalculated and they're updated on the chart as well this is a no native mobile 
uh, framework. So we're going to be releasing this as a financial chart control, uh, native mobile, iOS and Android. So this is entirely written in Swift and the Android version will be written in Kotlin or Java. If you'd like to find out more about SciChart in finance and trading applications, head over to SciChart.com and under this Why SciChart menu, there is a Best for Financial and Trading Applications page. In this, we talk about the features that SciChart has, uh, not only on mobile, native iOS and Android, but also we support Xamarin, native macOS, as well as Windows and browser-based applications in JavaScript. SciChart allows you to create fully functional, native, high-performance trading applications, things with uh, multi-panels, indicators, legends, as you've just seen. Uh, we also support annotations such as drawing over the top of the chart. You can draw trend lines, you can draw buy and sell markers, Fibonacci retracements, etc., uh, etc. Et if you go further down the page, there's a couple of case studies and showcases that, that show uh, where SciChart is used. It's actually used by some big names in the finance and trading industry, um, including brokerages, banks, hedge funds, and so on. Um, also, SciChart has incredible performance, which makes it really, really suitable for uh, these kind of markets. Because our components are native and they're high performance and they use our award-winning high performance graphics engine underneath, um, SciChart is incredibly fast. So you're not going to get any slowdown uh, when you're incorporating our chart components into your application. I mentioned before things like annotations. Uh, one of our platforms, Windows, supports things such as uh, drawing Elliott waves, head and shoulders pattern, pitchforks, fib retracements and extensions. Um, and we're working on bringing these to the mobile and JavaScript platforms as well. There's some case studies further down the list. And if you want to find out more, you can ask sales a question or contact us. We'd love to hear from you as we build out this finance, financial chart library. Um, and as soon as we have our demo live, we'll be going to our user base to uh, show them what we can do and uh, invite your feedback.